Alright, hello everybody. Um, this will be a very short video because you just have a review unit and your test for unit 3 this week. Uh, the biggest part of your test is going to be your different declensions. So we've learned a lot of pronouns in this unit um, and some are review. So we have the third person pronouns, which are isa and id. Uh, the the things that people tend to get wrong if they uh, didn't study well enough are the genitive and datives. These are similar to um, they are similar to the naughty nine and the genitive and dative sig singular. Uh, so make sure you review those. Uh, then we have the demonstrative adjectives and pronouns. I think these are hard sometimes to remember, but you need to be able to remember uh, which pronouns are demonstrative. So we have hik hai kok, uh, ille illa illud, ista ista istud, and is ea id. Those are all your demonstrative pronouns. And here we have the declensions of hik hai kok and ille illa illa illud. Again, the issue uh, cases for most people are the genitive and dative singular. Again, they are similar to each other, but unusual uh, given normal adjective and pronoun declensions. So we have huyos, huik, and we have ilius, illi. Okay, then we have the third person, uh, the third person reflexive pronoun, uh, sui, sibi, se, se. Uh, no, remember, it doesn't have a nominative case because reflexives are always in the predicate and they refer to the subject. Okay, they can't be the subject and refer to the subject at the same time, and so they have to be in the predicate. Um, then we have the uh, reflexive pronoun adjectives. Uh, meus, tuus, and suus, my own, your own, and his, her, its own, and their own. Remember again that sua, suus, sua, suum, and sui, sibi, se, se, all have, um, they all have the same form for themselves and himself, so there's no special plural form. Okay, what else do we have here? All right, here are our intensive pronouns. So the intensive pronoun is ipsa, ipsa, ipsum. Uh, it also has the strange genitive and dative singulars across the board. Um, the, the difficult thing about this might be uh, the confusion between reflexives and intensives. Remember, in English, reflexives and intensives have the same form. Uh, in Latin, they do not. So this is something you'll want to review the distinction between. So reflexives have to be in the predicate and refer back to the subject. Intensives can be anywhere in the sentence. And they are not functioning as referring to the subject. They're just adding emphasis to a word. So you'll want to review the grammar there. Okay. Then you have quite a few new vocab to review. Um, and I will say one of the consistent problems I find on quizzes and tests is people forgetting or um, either forgetting the gender of the word or forgetting to give me the dictionary form. So remember, for nouns, the dictionary form... Form is the nominative singular, then the genitive singular, and then the gender. G for gender there. You have to give all three of those to get full credit for a vocab term. That's a noun. And uh, in any case, on your, on, your, uh, on your lesson page, where there are two full words written out, you have to give the full word. So, for example, Leo Leonis. You can't say Leo 
is or something like that and just give the ending of the genitive um, because it's not what you'd expect. We have an in added there. So any word that is written out in full in your lesson, you have to write out in full on the quiz or test. Same with corpus corporis. All right. Then we have uh, your pronouns at the bottom of the page. Hikai kok, ela ila ilud, ipse ipsa ipsum, isaya id, iste ista istud, sui sibi se se, and su usa um. Quite a few of them there. Uh, reviewing the difference between these four demonstrative pronouns, remember that isaya id can mean that and those, and it's general, so it doesn't tell you um, whether the the this or the that, I mean, uh, is close or far from the subject uh, or the person spoken to. On the other hand, um, hikai kak is specifically close, refers to something close to the speaker. Close to speaker. I'm running out of space here. Okay. Uh, the illa illa illud is specifically far from the speaker. And iste ista istud is specifically close to the person addressed or spoken to person. Dressed. Okay. Um, the other thing to remember is that Ila can be can mean that famous. So Ila Kaiser is that famous Caesar or that Caesar. And Ista Ista Istud can be used in contempt. So clean that room of yours. Spoken in contempt would be este cubiculum, that room. Or sorry, estud cubiculum, that room. All right. Okay, um, just a reminder, please let me know by Tuesday night if you would like to have a help session. Uh, my ends of my weeks get filled up pretty quickly, but I can always make time if I'm warned with plenty of time ahead. All right. Have a good week.